I've seen you do stand-up. As a matter of fact, I actually met you afterwards. <laughs> Good to see you again. It's so nice to see you, you again. You got it. You got it. Please welcome Tig Notaro. Hi, welcome to Under a Rock with Tig Notaro. I'm Tig Notaro. I'm a comedian who doesn't follow a lot of pop culture. I don't watch a lot of TV shows or movies, so I have a really hard time recognizing famous people. And on this show, I interview famous people to try and figure out who they are. So please welcome this person. What a warm introduction. Thank you. No, thank you. No. Thank you for having this person. <laughs> so how does this work? Uh, well, I want to figure out who you are. Okay, very good. I am a bit of a control freak oh. when in these types of settings. Okay. So... Like talk shows? Conversationals, yes. You control conversations. I can, I'm, I'm a bit like, I can't, it's tough for me to sit back and not drive the conversation. All right, well... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a better <laughs> guest from here on out is what I'm saying to you. Anytime you feel like interrupting me... Or no, feel... I just did. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, right there, right there, I'm gonna be quiet. Oh, sir, guess what this says? I don't know. You did stand-up comedy in college. I did. Ah, uh, makes sense. I did. You're a silly person. I am, or, a, a, glutton very silly or a glutton for punishment. How long did you do stand-up? I did it for three years. And what I, city um, or town? In Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ah, one of the big comedy meccas. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I did it, um, and I loved it. It's made everything that I've ever done professionally that much easier, because nothing's ever been tougher. There's nothing more alive, makes you feel more alive than stand-up. I've seen you do stand-up, as a matter of fact. I actually met you afterwards. <laughs> Good to see you again. It's so nice to see you, you got again. It. You got it, you got it. <laughs> What show did I meet you at Largo, just out of curiosity? Uh, Garland did a show one night, uh -huh. Jeff, and had a whole bunch of his friends there. Are you from Curb uh, Your you. Enthusiasm? I have been on an episode of it, yes. So I have. you're an actor? Playing myself, playing myself. Playing yourself. And so. uh, are you friendly with Cheryl at all? I've been stared down by Cheryl Hines at the poker table. Anytime Cheryl comes up, somebody has played poker with her. My greatest poker claim to fame is I felt it Ellen DeGeneres and she called me a mother <laughs> when I beat her and knocked her out of a tournament, and it was absolutely a pelt on the wall. It was awesome. But she was being lighthearted. I think she was legitimately pissed. I will never forget it, and I wonder if she will remember. I don't know how many people she's called that. Did you make any money off of that game? Oh, God, it was phenomenal. It was great. <laughs> did you go mansion shopping after? I did not go mansion shopping. Do you live in a mansion? I do not live in a mansion. Hmm, that's sad. <laughs> um, what would you bring to a potluck? Is that really what was on that card? I, I swear to God. Now, a pot, what would what you bring, would to, you a bring to a potluck? What would you bring to a potluck? What would you bring to a potluck? I don't think I've ever been to a potluck. A casserole of some sort? Like, I, honestly, I don't... You haven't been to no, a potluck? No, I don't do potlucks. Are you... I'm, I'm... Socially likable? I am socially likable. I'm just potluck averse. That doesn't help you at all in, in terms of this endeavor here. Well, at all, what right? would you bring to a potluck? Was the question, sir. Uh, <laughs> baked ziti. Let's, let's... Baked ziti. It's easy. It's simple. How do you make it? I don't know. You just bake it. I mean, you uh, bake it. You take I mean, the ziti and you bake it. Uh, right. Don't you just take a pot and you boil water? And then you put the, the, the ziti. pasta ziti you in. You put ziti in. Right, you put ziti. So I don't even have to worry about what type of shape of pasta. We know what we're talking about. Alexa, could I get a recipe for baked ziti? Okay, I recommend baked ziti. One hour, five minutes to make. Serves eight. Would you like to start recipe? I'm going to have a potluck, and I'm going to directly invite you, sir. Okay, very good. And you will be the only person invited. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be me and you eating okay. eight portions of baked ziti. That's <laughs> right. I'm going to do a fun fact. Now, does this guaranteed to be fun, or is this just what you call these things? It's just guaranteed to be a fact. Got it. Your voice is your moneymaker. That is fun. You're right. <laughs> it is. 
Are you a um, a sports person? Well, um, I've got this board with me, and it shows that uh, comedian Tig Notaro has uh, two Grammy nominations in My her career. God. Your setup to punchline ratio is a fantastic Hall of Fame worthy one to one. <laughs> And in terms of laughs per minute, 4.49 on occasion can be actually taken down, but when you connect, you absolutely connect with <laughs> lightning speed. And then celebrities recognized, according to this show, you're still at zero, which means there's nowhere to go but up. And back to you, Tig. <laughs> you're a sports commentator. Pretty much, that's what I do. Do for you do play-by-play? Yes. Play? Tignataro, yeah. I, I on occasion will do it, but more often than not, I'm a I'm a studio sports host. And did you move here trying to get into sports? I realized many many years ago that I could talk it better than I could play it. I'm gonna go to the reveal. Oh, well, that's where you keep the reveal envelope. Yeah, there, huh? we need a very big box <laughs> for a very small envelope. Yeah. What a great show. Reveal. What a special moment. Well, that's several cards there. Okay. My guest today is a sports broadcaster mm -hmm. for the NFL Network. That's right. And hosts numerous shows, including the annual coverage of the NFL Draft. Correct. The <laughs> Hall of Fame induction weekend. Fact. He was also the first on-air talent added to the NFL Network roster and has since earned four Emmy nominations for his work as a sportscaster. Facts. That ain't too shabby. You're spitting truth right now, Tig. But do you have any Grammy nominations? I don't. You, last I checked, <laughs> have two. And one Emmy. One Emmy nomination. Why is that not up there? Okay. He has guest starred on TV shows including The League, mm -hmm. At Midnight, mm -hmm. and played himself in the movie Draft Day. Did you see that movie? What do you think? <laughs> His charity event, Run Rich Run, has raised over a million dollars for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. That's phenomenal. Thank you. He currently hosts The Rich Eisen Show. Oh, th is that you? That's me. <laughs> Turns out my guest today was Rich Eisen. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. Alexa, add Watch The Rich Eisen Show to my to-do list, please. I have added Watch the Rich Eisen Show to your to-do list. Yes. Fantastic. Rich Eisen, thank you so much for coming to Under a Rock with pleasure. Tig Notaro. Thanks so much, Tig. What a pleasure to meet what you. What a nice handshake. That's my pleasure to shake your hand. Well, Does I this was... mean that if we do cross paths again, you will know who I am and recognize me? If you show up at my house <laughs> with a casserole of big ziti and I don't know who you are, then I, there's a medical condition going okay. on. Okay. <laughs>